Welcome, it's Andrew from The Beer Guide, and we're here today to talk a little bit about Dog Island Brewery. Where the hell is Dog Island? It's a nice little silhouette of it, um, if you can see that there. Um, some say it's shaped like a dog, I don't fully, I guess, kind of. Anyway, uh, Dog Island is in Slave Lake in Alberta. It's about uh, two, two and a half hours north of Edmonton, which is the capital city and the fine province. Um, this beer is fantastic, so let's dive into it, shall we? But something with uh, you know a pretty, a pretty glass deserves you know. Uh, to go along with this pretty packaging. Uh, their branding is on point. Um, the guys that are doing this, uh, Ben and Chad are the main guys. Uh, Ryan's a sales guy on, um, in the trenches in Edmonton doing sales. Just a bunch of great human beings. They like to have a lot of fun and uh, they make a lot of beer. They take that part. They don't take themselves too seriously, but when it comes to the beer, um, Let's uh, let's get in this. So, a lot of people have been going, getting on the hazy train, going the Windland style and juice, 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 haze, 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 and kind of the West Coast style has been forgotten a little bit. This one, mm, yep. So this one is uh, West Coast punch up front with the hops you get the bitterness um, but it has a citrusy finish so it's not terribly cloying and hanging around the bitterness is there but it's balanced with how, how big and flavorful this beer is um, and I've said it before this is debate me let me know what you think <coughs> excuse me uh, that this is one of the uh, one of the best IPAs being made in Alberta uh, at the moment uh, there's a few others that come to mind I know what they are. I'd love to hear what your opinions are on them too. Um, but if you haven't tried uh, the Saints and Sinners um, IPA, I mean, maybe I'll just try it again for you. Oh man, it's a good beer. You will not be disappointed by this beer. I'll put out a guarantee for you. You go buy this beer and you don't like it, I'll drink it for you. <laughs> So check them out if you happen to be in northern rural Alberta. Um, their tap room is bumping. Uh, when they started, they had a very small pilot system. And when they opened their first day uh, back in, again, handy reference, uh, the beer guide. Um, when they opened in July of 2016, or later that summer, um, they were open for about four hours. And it was only four hours because they sold out of all of their beer it was 20 or 22 kegs um, gone. Uh, so the town loved it, and they were still working jobs, so they had to brew, you know, evenings, weekends, very part time on a very small system. So it took them, you know, five, six, seven weeks to rebuild up their keg supply, opened again, and same thing happened. Uh, it went on like this, you know, for the first probably close to a year they were opened. Uh, they finally were more than that year and a half uh, now they have a 15 barrel system so they're producing a lot more uh, now they're canning products so you can actually uh, get this product in a lot of uh, key places in Alberta um, I don't know how big the presence is in the south or in, in Calgary your super boutique places will probably have it like thumbprint um, and places like of the such uh, Brewers Apprentice I'm sure we'll get some uh, kegs every once in a while um, but their presence is strong in Edmonton um, they're on and all, you know, the best places to get your beer in Edmonton. Um, Sherbrooke is uh, the big one for sure for retail. Uh, beer Revolution rotates through it. Um, Saul's, Common. Like, there's a lot of cool places that are rocking this beer. And Northern Chicken. Um, uh, and Arcadia. A lot of Northside places that I frequent are getting this beer. I'm speaking highly of it. Again, I don't, they're not paying me nothing to say this. I go buy these beers. But it's such a good beer that more people should be drinking this. 
and uh, it really, um, you know, I think it puts us on a, on a higher level from something we produce out of Alberta as well. So, I have nothing but praise for these uh, fine gentlemen producing their beer. Uh, they also have, you know, a session ale um, and a pale ale, which are pretty good. They have uh, a Dibsbury Dog Island Brewery. Um, it's their, like a raspberry uh, wheat, and it's quite refreshing for the summertime if you want your light, crisp, fruity beers. Uh, to uh, quote unquote patio crush, um, but really, and they know it too. This is their, this is their crown jewel. This is their darling child. The branding is dope on their other products too. If you can see this, they've got. It's like one of their dudes' dads with just like you know the old sunscreen commercial with the dog pulling on the bikini bottoms, uh, <laughs> showing his dog Alex head too. So anyway. That's Dog Island IPA. Um, if you can find it, you know, get it, uh, request it, visit the brewery. I still need to go. Um, I might make a trip this summer. We'll see what happens. But besides that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beer. Uh, cheers.